It's really difficult to paint a white subject on a white sheet of paper and get it to stand out. In today's video, I'm going to take you through the process of how I painted an egret on a white sheet of paper. So that is a pure white bird on a white sheet of paper and still got it to pop and look really nice. This painting is a part of my recently launched collection titled The Rain Tree. And if you missed last week's video where I spoke about discovering my art style and creating this collection, then you should definitely check it out. The link is up here. For now, let's jump into the speed paint video. The collection that I created is called The Rain Tree and I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the inspiration behind this collection. In 2021, my husband and I moved into our first apartment together and that apartment was on the fourth floor and there was this beautiful balcony onto which a rain tree was leaning over. It was this really old, really large rain tree and it was a beautiful tree. I owe a lot of my obsession with birds to that tree. All of it started from there. The story actually started with these annoying pigeons that would come into our balcony and try to make our balcony their own. And it was quite a messy affair, I have to say. In fact, I made a video about this about one and a half years ago on our first anniversary, which you can watch through the link above. But, um, yeah, the pigeons were quite an annoyance, quite a disturbance. We didn't know what to do about it. And we eventually ended up putting a net onto the balcony to keep them out. I never really grew to become fond of pigeons for sure. But that experience um, made us start sitting in the balcony more often. And the pigeons were right in front of us on this rain tree. And we actually started observing their behavior, not just the behavior of the started observing how they looked and how they behaved and those jewel tones that they have on their necks and how they would kind of walk around really clumsily, how they would try to attract a mate, all of these things. We started observing it with pigeons and once we started observing pigeons, it was hard for us not to notice the other birds. We started noticing cuckoos, we started noticing parakeets and so many other birds for whom this rain tree was a home. It was really beautiful. Sometimes like we would just see these beautiful black dark cuckoos who have this blue sheen to their feathers uh, come in right in front of us and they have these deep red eyes that are really striking. And the female cuckoo looks so different. She's this ashy gray color with brown streaks on her plumage. And the male would be cooing all season. In fact, we're going through that season right now also. I keep hearing the cuckoos around us. But yeah, it's uh, now that we're attuned to it, it's so hard for us not to notice it. And I love that. So yeah, there were these cuckoos. There were parakeets that would sit in groups and clusters and just sing. And... Sometimes we would hear sounds that were different and we immediately then knew that it was different and that's how we noticed a rufous tree pie for the first time as well. It has this really sharp like almost like a clattering sound. I don't even know how to describe it but it's it can be an annoying sound once you've heard too much of it but that day we were just fascinated because that was a call that was new to us, so we wanted to see what it was. We went outside, we looked around, we scouted the tree and finally we spotted the bird.
and then of course there were these egrets in the monsoon there was a ground opposite our balcony um that ground is a playing ground so it was used for things like cricket matches but in the monsoon it would completely fill up and the water would be stagnant it almost became like a large pond and that attracted these egrets to that space so they would come there i don't know maybe there were worms or fish in that water i don't know what they used to eat but they were there for a solid 2 3 months and then these egrets would fly onto the tree and sit atop the tree which we found kind of hilarious because it was the first time we were seeing something like that and seeing it up close because these are birds that look like something like a crane they have these long necks and long legs and it was really odd to see them sitting on a tree and sitting so delicately on a tree so it's all of those moods and those expressions and conversations between these birds that i really tried to capture in this collection that tree and that experience for the time that we lived there really fueled my enthusiasm towards birds and now i'm obsessed i love going on bird watching trips birding is now my hobby in fact when i started painting full time i realized that i probably need another hobby because i no longer consider painting a hobby it's it's work now and that's not as horrible as it seems i love it um but you still need something sometimes to get away from what it is that you do all the time for a living so for me now that is birding and i think the beautiful thing about being an artist is when you have any other interest it just comes through in your work and it fuels your work it fuels your imagination it fuels inspiration and in one way or another you're always working because you're like a sponge you're just always absorbing and that's true for me now every time i see birds i hear birds i look at the color palettes on birds they're just so beautiful and i'm always absorbing that and kind of stashing it away for another day when i have to paint and i'm looking for inspiration there's just so much of it now because i've been filling my well in that way so yeah i owe so much of it to that tree and this painting collection is just my ode to that tree it is my way of saying thank you to the tree for being there thank you to nature for giving us all of these marvelous sights to experience you can read the entire story of the collection on my website as well I hope you enjoyed watching that and I am so excited to tell you that this along with 20 other paintings formed my rain tree collection which is now live on my website. If you'd like to look at all the paintings that are a part of the collection, click the link in my description to check it out. Also be sure to check out last week's video where I spoke about finding your own art style and how I created this collection. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week in another video. Bye.